to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me on the gantry here at Anfield. And they all come out, the Liverpool supporters, on this particular day, don't they? Welcoming Manchester United, is that a bit strong? They'd have had the better of it in terms of title wins, but it's always a hard-fought affair, this. Number 14, Jordan Henderson. Number 6, Thiago. And number 11, Mohamed Salah. This is the Liverpool side. Virgil van Dijk plays with Joel Matip as the centre-backs. Thiago plays with Jordan Henderson in midfield, and they'll play with a sole striker. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Christian Eriksen plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. Such a historic ground, Anfield. And of course made bigger in the last couple of years with this big stand which we broadcast from. Yeah, and I think it was a thoughtful addition to this ground because they've managed to retain the atmosphere, obviously had a few thousand uh, fans into the bargain. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler, and welcome to the Parc des Princes. Paris Saint-Germain today involved in our match, and they play Real Madrid. Well, a special talent on view today. We've got Lionel Messi against Karim Benzema. Two great goal scorers, two lads that uh, never need asking twice. Quite often, one touch finishes, really special they are. Nice to be back here, Alan. We spent quite a lot of time during the European Championships in 2016 in the Parc des Princes, and it's got lovely facilities for we broadcasters. Yeah, definitely. Gives us a good view, and uh, it always brings back memories of when I played here, going right back to 1994, semi-final of the Cup Winners' Cup. And we lost here, actually, in the final of that competition the year after. Naeem from the halfway line. Paris Saint-Germain, this is their lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Marquinhos starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre-backs. Idrissi Gay plays with Marco Verratti in the middle. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Carvajal starts with David Alaba as the full-backs. Luka Modric starts with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. For you today comes from North London, from the Emirates Stadium, the home of Arsenal. The visitors from uh, just across the capital, southwest London, Chelsea. It certainly revs up the fans when these two London rivals go head to head. Yeah, so much talk leading up to this match. Both managers just uh, having their say, maybe trying to wind each other up. Let's see what we uh, have out on the pitch now. Well, these two players, perhaps we picked out as the likely candidates to keep a special eye on, Alan Smith. I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. This is the Arsenal lineup. Martin Odegaard starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the park. And they're going to go with one striker up front.
the Chelsea lineup. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. Great excitement here as the. Hi, everybody. Big welcome to you all to Manchester to the Etihad Stadium. And it's Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Number 14. And today it's Manchester City against Barcelona. Manchester City's lineup today. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Barcelona's lineup here. Mark Andre Testegen starts in goal. Robert Lewandowski is the main striker today. A real blueprint here, sky blueprint if you like, for how to turn an athletics stadium as this was for a Commonwealth Games into a football ground. They dug deeper so that the, uh, the stands in the end would be closer to the football pitch, something perhaps that other venues that have still got athletics tracks could uh, take on board. Yeah, it was a, a clever uh, transformation and it does feel like a football stadium these days, although I do come across...
This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? It's EA TV live. And all systems go here at Anfield ahead of what should be an enthralling night of football. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box. And I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It is Liverpool facing Porter. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Mohamed Salah. Liverpool play in the group stage, it always has the effect of bringing the memories back. My favourite memory, Lee, old spaghetti legs himself, Bruce Grobelar, <laughs> or that final against Roma. Yeah, who can forget that? And I think Liverpool would love that to be happening again. They've got the talent, they've got the drive, they've got the hunger. Can they go all the way? Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Thiago starts with Jordan Henderson in the centre of the pitch. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one front runner this evening. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. And they just let his opponent glide by. And the danger cleared. Andrew Robertson. Van Dijk with it. Here's Robertson. Thiago. Here's Grujic. They have the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Matip now. It's with Fabinho. Match day one in the Champions League, always exciting. And as soon as the teams were drawn into this particular group, we all thought, my goodness, that's a hard one to predict the outcome of. Oh, wow, well, the so-called group of death, it really is a competitive one, this one. Imperative, you get off to a good start. You don't want to be playing catch-up when there's two teams like that ahead of you. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Fabinho now. Liverpool have given it away. Thiago. How can you not be entertained? Now the task is to remain focused. Able defending, but can they keep it out? Ottavio now. An awful lot of green space to run into. Grujic. Carrying a genuine threat here. Well, the header that was frankly miles off target. Well, technically, that was um, awful. Alexander-Arnold has it. Clattered away. Here is Thiago. 
given away. Here's Robertson. Here is Thiago. I must say, no shortage of space. Cutting infield here. This is Thiago. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Gaining possession for his side cleverly. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Vigno. Well, is he going to give them the advantage? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Let's have another view of that goal. So the game has restarted. Liverpool in front. Grujic, Ottavio now. And a strong tackle. And threading it forward. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And over comes the corner. Not messing around with that clearance. Fabinho now. And now Jordan Henderson. And Fabinho. Henderson. The ball with Ottavio. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. He has teammates to play it to. Now, what can he do here? Ground to make up, and perhaps this corner can assist them. He's driven in the corner. And you need just over the crossbar with that header. And he just gets underneath it, over the bar. Alexander-Arnold has it. Mohamed Salah now, moving through the gears. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Now Mo Salah, Liverpool couldn't keep it. Well, great read there to intercept. Now that's good. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Short and along the ground. And that opportunity knocks. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. And the goal that was scored 
Well worth another look, Lee. So, 2-0 now. Here's Grujic. The ball with Pepe. Andrew Robertson. And Thiago. Space and time for the cross. And he cuts inside. Is he going to punish them here? A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And on the ball, Mbemba. Fabinho now. Henderson. Possession seeded by Liverpool. Carrying a genuine threat here. This attack looks highly promising. Let's see what he has in store for them. And that is how to block. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And it's a quality pass. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. To tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly, but not on this occasion. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. Anderson, he was at thought just then. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Alexander Arnold. Now Mo Salah. Others in the vicinity. Will there be a tangible end product? And Thiago! And the defender takes care of business. It's with Fabinho. Here's Grujic. There's a slide rule pass. Well, they were clearly on the receiving end, so a free kick is next. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. deep into the penalty area chance to reduce the arrears and the goalkeeper as you would expect once again doing his job yeah that's it his job get behind the ball and save it Alexander Arnold it could be the big moment for him goalkeeping of the very highest order oh it was a great shot as well Great shot, great save. Played into the centre of the box. Might be a chance here. Now well, let's see, does he mean business? The outcome is a goal kick here.
this is very rare indeed three substitutes coming on at the same time And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Nothing wrong with that idea. And they, well, this might pay dividends. Attacker versus keeper, and keeper wins. Oh, I always put my money on the attacker. Not this time. Brilliant goalkeeping. Liverpool continue to advance. Will they be able to convert? It's with Roberto Firmino. Opportunity it is. Splendid save from the keeper, danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Here's Keita. It's with Fabinho. Keita... Let's see what he has in store for them. Well, clattered away. Fabinho now. And in the net this time from Liverpool. Well, they inflict a lot of pressure on the opposition, and that time the opposition couldn't cope with it. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's have another view of that goal. There has been a golf in quality tonight. But you've really got to give them credit for the fact that they haven't let up at all. Ottavio now. Roberto Firmino carrying it and attempting the through ball. Well, not quite. Real chance. Now, well, sometimes for a goalkeeper, it's not about the spectacular, it's about the routine. Absolutely. Concentration, concentration. It's all between the ears. Roberto Firmino. Effective challenge. Alexander Arnold. Liverpool obsessed with finding a forward gear. Now, what can they do from this position? It's with Fabinho. Powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Mbemba. Inside the last quarter of an hour. This is Salah. Will there be a tangible end product? It's there for him. Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not cleared. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. I must say, no shortage of space. Andrew Robertson. Well, great read there to intercept. In full control of the ball here. 
The shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. Here's Keita. Pepe. Porto have given it away. There's a slide draw pass. Just wanted to get it out of there. Liverpool throw in here. Andrew Robertson. Ottavio now. Now, what can he do here? And a good looking ball. Well, thumped clear. Alexander Arnold has it. Now, Mo Salah. Beautifully timed. Fabinho now. Diogo Jota. Tremendous ball played through. Just straying offside. Has indicated there will be a minimum possession seeded by Porto. Van Dyke with it. This is Salah. Is he going to punish them here? Well, let's see. Does he mean business? The delivery from Salah here. Liverpool corner given. Exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth the chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten goes where it did do. There goes the full-time whistle, and Liverpool fans won't mind this at all. Liverpool with three points from their first game of this Champions League campaign. Yeah, really, really strong start, that's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek, bit of a cliche. You always have a suspicion Mo Salah will get high marks, and that applies to this contest, Lee Dixon. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad, and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.